Grazie onorevole Grappini, onorevole Fjellner. Thank you very much and first I'd like to thank Vicky for a very constructive and forward-looking work with this. But I've taken a little bit of a different approach. Uh, I have been very critical to the Commission's proposal and how the Commission has, has addressed this question. I, I understand that the Commission needed to show that they had to act after what happened this autumn, but sadly I think instead of getting at the real problem with illegal guns, all of the proposal hits the legal guns and something that won't affect the access of guns for terrorists or, or, or criminals at all. Both five-year licenses, medical exams, hindering distance trade, and, and banning certain semi-automatics is an example that won't stop terrorists but will hit hard at legal gun owners, law-abiding hunters and others. I asked the Commission already last time we met, first, how, about how many, how many crimes could be connected to legally owned, possessed weapon. And I still haven't heard an example of that. I still haven't heard a figure. How big is the problem? I still haven't heard the Commission explain how big is the problem. And then after that, I also had asked the question, how many weapons? Because as, as Mr. Durant to now, now, no, there is, uh, pointed out. The, the definition is very dubious of, of, of semi-automatic weapons that reassemble. Then I asked the simplest of questions, how many weapons were affected by this legislation? How many, how many are we banning? How big is the problem and how many is affected by our proposed solution? And I didn't get a response back in March and I still haven't had a response to that. And drawing conclusions from that, the only thing I think that proves is that this is a rough jo a rush job. If the Commission can't answer those two simple questions, I think the only reasonable approach we should take is to reject the proposal and ask the Commission to start in another direction, to address illegally possessed arms instead of, of taking this. Because if you can't describe the problem, explain who is affected by your solution, then you've actually missed the target by miles. Thank you.